my channel. Today I'm joined by my best mate Sarah and my best sister. <laughs> See, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> hey, Chitala. Say hi to the camera. Hi. Hey. Sarah. Oh, my other sister's over there. The one that I don't like. I told her, I told her you can't be in the video. Never. Okay, anyway. Um, I'm gonna put their Instagrams and, and Twitters um, at the bottom of the video. So make sure you follow them, make sure you follow me, Lani Good. And let's get it pop let's get it cracking. <coughs> okay, cool. So we're gonna talk about uni do's and don'ts. It's really important that we like advise our young guys and girls what to do and the mistakes not to make. So we've been talking about this just before we turn on the camera and like we're gonna start with Freshers Week because you might as well, in it. So yeah, Fre Freshers Week, what advice would you lot give them? Don't be shy. Yes, talk to everyone. Yeah, because you need to make friends in it so you can't really, um, oh by the way, don't look at that, you have to look at that. Oh. I always forget. Yeah. Okay, okay pre yourself a little bit but look at that. Okay. So, sorry guys. Okay, so yeah don't be shy so like obviously everyone wants to make friends so if you see like um a girl that you want to be homies with or a guy like just just say something friendly like oh i like your shoes or whatever or i like your your jacket where'd you get that from and just start chit chatting i like your lashes yeah yes. like your lashes i like your makeup whatever um what were you saying about ask for everyone's instagram snapchat because some people you meet them in the first week you won't see them again for a month. Yeah. So it's good to have that so you have people to contact through different meetings. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, what was you not saying about... Um, so if you're, you know, if you're... How do I say this politically? If you're the type of person that only... Not only. If it's important for you to, to build a certain crowd, if you know what I'm saying, wink, wink. Uh, um, you know what I'm saying? You should go on... In what? Uh, Tinder. Insta. No, like if you want to go to a black event, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh. Well, you can't really find events on Tinder. No, I mean, no. Insta. Insta. You hashtag. No, Twitter. If you search for hashtag oh, Twitter. on Twitter, you'll see people yeah. tweeting about certain. Oh. If, you, if you find your uni name and hashtag it. Yeah. And then yeah. But I'm sure it. Instagram will have um, Midland 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 raves or something. A page, no. Okay, Maybe. whatever, I don't know. Okay, they're saying Twitter is the place to do that, so do that. And then you can, um, the ACS? Yeah. Go to your yeah, ACS, exactly. find out where it is and go to the first ACS meeting. I actually met my best mate in uni at the ACS meeting. It was the second meeting. Um, because you have to be a bit consistent with them. Did you yeah, go to yours? I didn't go to many. Okay. I did. Were you a big, were you a big member of the ACS, ACS. No. yeah you're the ACS, ACS president <laughs> but I did meet a lot of people through ACS yeah I really recommend it and also I would say as well like not to be rude but um it's not necessary that you will find like your dream brethren in, yeah. in your uni. first week or yeah. your second week or even in the whole year but okay yeah. let's but you will you have to be patient I know one boy he was friends with a certain group of people they were cool, but they weren't his type of people. People and his best mate came in second year. Oh. So even if you, if you, even if you're rolling with people and you're like, oh, they're cool, but they're not like my friends at home. Just stick with it because you don't have to stick with those people the whole year. You might meet someone on your course. You might meet someone the second term or the the third month. You just have to be patient with it. It's true. And don't let yourself get down if you get a bit lonely. I think people get and lonely. Make sure you make friends with as many people as possible because I had a group of friends. Um, I thought they were my friends, and they decided <laughs> to rent a house for second year. There were seven of them, and uh, I thought I had a room in there. No, there was only six bedrooms, so I had to go move into someone else. And they didn't tell you? No, they didn't tell me. They just snaked you? Yeah. Okay. That's well, they can fuck right off! How dare you do that to my sister? <laughs> Pagans. <laughs> Pagans. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so this one's really important. We're going to talk about being a hoe. Yes. Don't do it. No. Hmm. If you want to be a hoe, be a hoe. Okay. But be a smart hoe. Yeah, because at the end of the day, some people, it's in their innate blood and system to be a hoe. They can't yeah. help it. They can't the help it. The sex drive is just mad. Yeah. The, the undressed guys with their eyes. Yeah, or, or vice, okay, no, we're talking about girls in particular. Yeah, yeah if, you, if, you really have, if you really can't help being a hoe, like, 
it is really deep inside you then we we were saying that you have to go out of you have to go outside your uni yeah look for your town center pubs and apps right yes tinder and them ones you yeah, just make sure the guys the guys not really like from from mm, your uni yeah. I and mean, then you'll be calm because or find a road man a road man mm -hmm. so if you're in birmingham you go out of a brumting yeah yeah and yeah a hundred percent and then be a hoe and what were you what were you saying about the friend thing ah um oh. fresh is weak don't feel like you need to find or well, okay you find a, a hot guy you have mm -hmm. a connection don't sell yourself short because he might have really hot friends and then yes. once you go there you can never go there mm. within the group again and um, throughout the whole uni um journey so just take your time um and scout properly yeah 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 i agree with that because even though ben might be fine yeah um you he has a friend called femi oh, oh femi. Femi. why have you got to bring the you're a demon femi <laughs> is sweet he's not it's true in it but femi is sweet so you just yeah, maybe Jerome yeah, is nice Jerome's as well. Nice. Yeah. Am I being racist? Yeah, <laughs> oh, see, no, but yeah. she, she did say Ben. I said Ben. Ben is Caribbean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Whichever way, whichever way, <laughs> like one of them could be really sweet, really nice. What if you like Sam, the white boy? Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. you Anyone? know, what's happening with the Sam J? Well, Sam? The Asian ones. Yeah, yeah, maybe it could be Sam J. Can you help with this talk? Sorry. I don't know what you want to you do. Put it down, it's off shoulder. On both ends. Put it on the other shoulder as well. Down, down. Oh, what, what was My it? advice is don't shag anyone for the first term. At least. It's only two months, it's not that long, you can get over it. Like Sarah said, you know, shag someone else that's local. Yeah, do not shag yeah. anyone in the, yeah. for, don't in do the it. uni. Yeah. Don't do it. And they all talk. They all yeah. talk, innit? They listen, do. listen, one time at uni, um, I was I had a boyfriend <coughs> who wasn't at uni, so I was kinda I was kinda class saved. But I was at uni okay, so I was in the bed with I was chilling with my boyfriend and then he wasn't he must have told me that um some he was telling me about some guy, like he showed me the message mm -hmm. and the guy was saying how yeah he beat this girl five times in the shower, in the this, in the that. Like guys are so immature and pathetic. Mm. And on that note, you. don't send your nudes around. If you're gonna send nudes, hide your face, hide any birthmarks, tattoos that can mm. identify you because they will go around. What about sending them on snap though? Because they die. You can use another phone and you can take a picture of it. Yeah. Oh, man, I never thought about that one. No, really? listen, don't send anything with your face in it. Anything that I, that can identify you, don't do it. Your nails even, don't. I think at uni, you just shouldn't send nudes. It, don't, it doesn't don't do it. Don't, don't do it. It's too much of a small world. Some yeah. people do find their, their husbands in uni, but... Yeah. I wouldn't say it's like yeah. ninety percent of people. So I would actually go back to that point because that's a really good, well yeah. done. That's a really good point. <laughs> listen, if you can find your husband, like, you mean? <laughs> I'm just gonna say, <laughs> listen. <laughs> if, don't waste your time. Listen, if you can find, if you can find your husband, like, you you should cherish. You should cherish, you should cherish him. <laughs> No, no. Oh yes, yeah, she's going with us, but listen, 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 if you see this guy, uh, give me a name, Ola, okay, yeah. look, if Ola, darling, if Ola, he's Ola. a nice boy, let's say he mm. maybe even, he, goes he does, to chair. He goes yeah. to, maybe he even does small cheating on you, small, small cheating, small, small. small cheating, so, just, just a little bit, just not little too much bit. cheating, then listen, all I'm saying to you is, don't, don't get ahead of yourself, yeah. yeah, you guys can like beef a bit, you can even break up for a little bit, but just know that's your husband, yeah, mm. and, and, and make sure no girl gets in there, yeah. Really, honestly, market territory. Market territory. So even if you like break up for a couple months, never don't make the drift too long. Do you know what I mean by yeah. that? Never make the breakup more than like mm. four or five months. Yeah, yeah. That's that's that's. You need you need to keep him point. keep him close keep him close because when it when you get to twenty seven and you're <laughs> looking for a husband, let me tell you, the, the pickings are slim. Very slim. It's not come. It's not. It's never happening. And if you think about it, all the young guys, people that get married, they mm -hmm. knew their girl for time. Yeah. It's not. How many people do you know that? Okay, it does happen. But how many people do you know that twenty five, they met someone at work, and then they, within a year they were married. Most people at 25, 26 get married. They knew the person for mm -hmm. ages. Yeah. And you know the person just some small, small cheating on them. Small, small, just a But you know they've been faithful, in their old age. No, but I believe that if somebody is under the age of twenty four, um, really does it count? If they do cheating, well, they do say for guys. It depends when you meet them, I think. Mm. If they were cheating when you're 19, 
19. Yeah, if you're not, if they cheat on you when you're 19, it doesn't count. But if they were 23 and they were cheating on you, they know they shouldn't be cheating on you. No, but they do say people just experiment and it's just sex. Well, for guys, anyway, it's just yeah, sex. So I think I'm totally. And he's trying to bring up his body count. So he's I trying to have his experience True. in uni. So she doesn't think it counts. You're, you're a kid, though. But I'm 22. I'm nearly 23. Like, come on, man. Look, let, let me cheat. Like, it's not that deep. I just okay. Well, going off the subject, but real quick, like when I was young, um, the boys that I used to talk to when I was like um, seventeen and them ages there, like they used to really have a soft spot for me. Yeah. Compared to the soft mm -hmm. spot boys have for me now. Yeah. They used to really care for me until a girl hurts them. Yeah. That's, that's what's usually the yeah, of course. Starting point. So I'm. I my my thing is this: if you can get into a boy's heart early yeah even if yeah. you guys go through ups and downs that can mm -hmm. be your husband all i'm saying is if you can find your husband at university i would really advise it you have to you have to <laughs> literally you have to just tie him down just get a leash lock him down you have to lock him down because <laughs> listen you think you're gonna work 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 and when you're 30 you're gonna find your husband oh you're no. dreaming bro no you're dreaming it doesn't happen it doesn't mm -hmm. happen anyway we, okay we sound like bitter betties um what we're we saying um the whole thing we didn't finish. No, we didn't. What were we saying about being at home? Uh, oh, I had. Has anyone ever lied on you? Like, um, oh. lied. Yes. What's it called? Yeah, when they lie on you. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Huh? What? Cooking. When someone cooks. Yeah, we'll oh, bring yeah, the yeah, cooking yeah. thing. We'll, we'll bring that up as well. Oh yeah, 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 I'll yeah, tell yeah. Story. yeah. There was uh, one time I went to a party, and uh, there was this young man who came down to visit his friends from uni. I mean, at uni, and. Um, Coventry, I went to Coventry University, it's quite a big space from one place to the next place. Anyway, long story short, is he walked me home. Then a couple of weeks later, people are telling me that apparently me and him shagged. And I was like, oh, did we? When? Yeah. I don't even know him. People were like, oh yeah, you and, I'm not going to say his name because I don't know him, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, you and Mo Shed. I was like, who's Mo? I don't know any Mo's. <laughs> and then I clocked, like, maybe a month later, who it was, and I messaged him, and he was like, ah, oh, I never said that, never said that. So, like, so where did it come from then? But yeah, he told people that we shagged. We didn't. Yeah, but well, just to set the record straight, in case anyone's watching, I did shag Mo. But me as well, there's people in Bur in BCU or in Birmingham that think that I shagged this brother. Yeah? I don't even care. His name, yeah, is Femi. So I don't care. <laughs> Femi. Listen. A people, Femi or, f or, f or, or, what's another one? Uh, Femi or f uh, Fola? Fola, Fola, one of them. I think it's Femi though. Yeah? Yeah, I don't care if you're watching this Femi because that was out of order. <laughs> but um, I, I went to his house now and um, I had a massage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a, okay, I shouldn't have done this, but I was young. So it doesn't count. I had a boyfriend, so I shouldn't have really been at no, his house in the first place. No. But I was young. I didn't know that that wasn't allowed. <laughs> but I went to his house now to chill, and he had a girlfriend, and he said, let me give him a massage, and that was out of order. I shouldn't have yeah. had a massage by him. But he just gave me a, a, a back massage, and like a proper massage, not nothing um, sexual. Yeah, okay. He tried, but he tried to get it to get As a bit always. steamy, yeah. but I was like, no, I have a boyfriend. Anyway, it wasn't really a good ending because I tried to leave and I was just like, you're going to get me a cab and he didn't want to get me a cab because no, he didn't get didn't anything get out of it. So, cool. We didn't talk for a couple of weeks. So, my friend comes up to me and says, oh, people are talking about you in the library. And I was like, what were they saying? And he's like, that you and Femi had hot sex. Ah. Does he, did his girlfriend go to uni? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, um, I didn't even know who his girlfriend was. We had hot sex. I don't understand how touching my back <laughs> translates no, to hot, hot sex. sex. I'm lucky my boyfriend didn't go to the uni, yeah. so it, like, it didn't really, it didn't really affect my life in a negative mm. way. Or well, it did because people thought. Well, okay, to be fair, a lot of I didn't have a lot of rumors on me because I had a boyfriend. Yeah. But that was one, and it just pissed me off because he lied on me. Like, why did well, you lie? Why, why? I don't understand why people do that. I think that's really. That's yeah, yeah but it's to get points with their boys, mainly like you know status. And I got her in bed. I had hot sex, as they call it. Um. Yeah, what just, it's a scoreboard for them. Like, oh, I hit that one, I hit that one. What happened to you? I didn't actually have any. But have you ever had rumours? I've had rumours. I had one in secondary school. Yeah. Um, that I gave someone head. And you know, in those days, head was like, yeah. Tabu. So I was like, what? Yeah, so it was, it was quite bad. That's but out of order. Um, people forgot about it. I was shocked. I was very shocked. So I was just like, I don't even talk to anyone. No, you just think it's it's the bait girls that will usually yeah. get this sort of slan um, slander, but I was like, I keep to myself. Um, I was just the, the, the normal girl, the average yeah. average Jane, and I was like, what the, what have I done? Yeah. 
yeah. it, it, it went, so it did bug me. I think it was a Friday that it came out, so I had the whole weekend, and I was like, oh my god, is everyone mm. meeting up and talking about it? But Aww. back to school on Monday, like no one cared. Um, I don't think anyone believed it really. Oh, okay. I but feel they you. had to kind of just join in with the the bullying. Yeah. Yeah. It's mad. It's mad. Are you not talking about the cooking thing? Ah, yes. This is our other point for girls when you go uni. Don't cook for boys. <sighs> I, you know, I wouldn't say don't cook for boys. Don't cook for boys that you didn't know before going to uni because you might go to okay. uni with a few friends from mm -hmm. college. Like, cook for your friends if you want to cook for your friends, but don't feel like you need to cook for a guy to get the guy. We, I know we said find your husband, but a lot of guys just want um, that takeaway service or, <coughs> you know, a little canteen they can bop by with their boys, <laughs> jollof fries, assorted yeah. meat, fried plantain. No, don't do it. And they will gas you up. They'll gas. make you feel like you're special. Yeah, she's wife material. They'll tell everyone mm. you're wife material. Mm -hmm. No, don't fall for it. They just want food. Especially if they're not contributing mm. to the the food. Mm -hmm. But how do you how do you know if um, the guy is using you for food? It'll be him requesting food? food. Yeah, he only comes for food. What if he kisses you and has sex with you? It's confusing, isn't that it? That one's enjoyment. So he's having sex too? <laughs> yeah. And food? Wow. Ah, no, no, no. Pick, pick a struggle. You can't. And you never take on a date? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Uni's hard. Is it's hard. Oh, you yeah, can't really yeah, do dates. Yeah. But do you know what it is? You, you'll find that if he doesn't want to contribute to the shopping, then he's definitely using it. For yeah. Free. So if, if you're not too sure, drag him to Tesco's. I just say, oh, come with me to Tesco's quickly. I want to pick up something. Do your shop and then mm. fall back and see. How he responds but actually i'll just say this in addition to that because some people might like it's not a big deal it's just cooking i'll say this look not even at just at uni in general in life no matter how much you do for a guy you can design him a website shade mm -hmm. you can buy him giuseppe's you can shade shade Oh. L yeah, Shade. Listen, you can do the most. You can cook him breakfast in bed, Shade. Mm -hmm. every, every Sunday, Shade. You can do his laundry, Shade. <laughs> no, go we'll talk. Like, oh gosh, um, you can even... Okay, never ever, ever, ever do this. This is actually a good one. It's just randomly come. Mm -hmm. I done something illegal for one boy, but this is not a uni. You can even do something naughty for him. Like, he's like... Hold this for me. No, don't hold a don't thing. Hold yeah, you don't. can do all that stuff. Guess what? That doesn't mean he's gonna marry you. No. Nope. A, a guy doesn't fall in love with you because of what a woman. I don't think he does. No, they don't. It's either they will or they won't, and they know that. Yeah. They, 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 it's they up know. To them. Yeah, it's, it's, up to it's them. in their hands. Nothing you can do can change. I don't think if I give him pussy whenever, wherever, like at the back of the classroom, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't even go there because. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> if he doesn't, if he's not going to wife for you, he's not going to wife for you. Yeah, it, it, it really isn't. And actually, another thing is like I feel like girls, yeah. Um, when you're young and you're at uni, sometimes you think like. Mm, I think a lot of girls think that it will be different with me, or mm. I will be different because I'm yeah. like this, or maybe I'm a virgin. Hey, if you are a virgin, please give a virgin advice. Don't, don't. I, I would say <laughs> don't lose your virginity in uni. Would you say when would you lose it then? I would say definitely don't lose it in first year. Okay, possibly second. Yeah, possibly well, second. I think third husband. year you might be mature enough, enough yeah. to think about it. So save it until third year. Do you know why I say that? It's because you actually need to focus on your mm. studies because obviously you've paid. Shoot up. It's like what nine thousand now. Shoot up. Mm. And it was nine thousand when we went. No, it was six. It years. was nine thousand. It was nine thousand when we went. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Mm. Um, and with women, so if a guy breaks your heart, let's just say, because yeah, I, you know, I've, I've, I had um, a friend, she was with this guy for two years. She did not have sex with him. She gave her virginity to him after the two years. Um, and he had sex with her one time and then he left, he disappeared. Huh? Yeah, so really? just feel like your, your first time has to, you have to be ready. Um, and I always say, well, it's sort of like my motto, don't have sex with a guy until you're ready for him to walk away and say, you know what, F you, I just wanted to bang. And you can be like, yeah, I wanted to bang too. Just, that often that's the right time to have sex because if you have sex with a guy thinking it's going to keep him around mm -hmm. and you've got your dissertation to write, trust me, you're not writing that dissertation if he leaves you and your heart is broken. So think properly 
So I don't know when would be a good. Listen, like. I think you can lose it in first year or whenever. Just I think Sarah's point is correct. Lose it when you want to lose it, so that if he leaves, you're okay. You have to be ready. Don't yeah. lose it to keep him or to mm -hmm. win him or to impress him. Yeah, because um, just because like real talk, it sounds so harsh, but just because you were a virgin and he and he took your virginity, that don't mean he's gonna it marry mean you. Now. It doesn't mm. mean anything. He can meet. He can meet the girl that's slept with ten guys in a week, and he can wife with her. So don't feel like. Your virginity is anything special these days. Sorry, the bubbles. <laughs> no, it's just me. No, yeah. No, it's really sad, though. It's, it's really, really, really sad. sad. It's shame. Yeah, I'm some guys, some guys. Have you heard about the guys that count virginities? Yeah. Hey, almighty. Okay. Almighty Jesus. Be careful. Also, almighty Jesus. While we're talking about uni, the you heard this before, but the second and the third year boys are predators. They are going to prey on them. your naivety. <laughs> so, yeah, stay away from them. Look, to be honest with you, just buy a dildo and just tell all of them to piss off. Obviously, still look for your husband at the same time. That's yes. why. Just keep your eye open. <laughs> just keep your eye open. My number one advice is don't, don't be a hoe. Like we said, like real talk, if I'm really honest, uh, linking guys who are not uni student boys is actually what you need to yeah. do. And uh, do you guys think popularity? Because some girls really want to be with the popular boy. Do you really think that translates to outside of uni? Because I don't know if it does. What do you mean? Okay, so some girls would get gassed because, like, oh, um, he's a popular boy in uni. Um, um, Felix is yeah, he's the guy man at uni. But yeah. th does that translate after those three years? Th no. But it does for some. For some people. Yeah. But then you shouldn't be in uni. I don't think your priorities should be about getting that career of your dreams, not being with the popular guy. Because anything could happen to you. the popular guy could go to jail. Then what? Yeah, tell us. You gonna ride? My boyfriend went to jail in third year, and I got a tutu because of it. That's that's the See? reason. Because I was busy visiting him, and I was really stressed out. And not to be big headed or gas, but I'm really, really, I'm a really good at, but like my field, I'm really good at art. I've always got A stars. I've got a distinction, like. Um, yeah. in my foundation year like it just A's all across the board um, literally I had unis fighting over me to go to their uni to do basically anything arty whether it was architecture whether it was fashion whether it was graphics I literally had unis fighting over me because I was sick I won awards when I was younger and everything I should have got a first class um, degree mm -hmm. just simple fact I'm not being big headed that's just simple facts and I work hard but what happened was I was um, heartbroken because of a boy and I had boy issues um, so actually, when you once you get to third year, even though this is for people just going, but once you get to third year, real, real, real talk, or if anyone in, who's watching this yeah. is going to third year, real talk, I would actually try and keep your distance away from your guy issues or your yeah. relationship yeah. issues and concentrate on that grade. <laughs> Not that that grade defines you. <laughs> yeah. no. That grade doesn't define you at all. You can finish uni and you still have to start from the bottom. Of course. But as long as you give yourself that fair chance, don't let it, don't don't look back and think, oh, because of a guy, because of Fred. I didn't get that first class, I didn't get that 2-1. 2-2 um, two, is not even bad, but some people are coming out with thirds because of guys. Yeah. You know, and you don't want that. If you're going to come out with a third, let it be because that's just all you what know. What you got. Yeah. yeah. Um, not because of a guy, because what, are you going to go back and we No, I don't think you can redo that, so. Yeah. It, it's, just, it's just a funny one, because the truth is, uni is there for your grade, but like these, all these other obstacles, they can really, really distract yeah. you. They can really, really distract you. As our parents would say, stay away from boys. Mm. But we know that's not going to happen. So just be smart. Yeah, just be smart. Um, we're talking about. Oh, let's talk about. What about? Okay, what about the guys that go uni or girls that go uni? I want to reinvent themselves. What, what? What are you saying? Be yourself. It will come out. I just feel out. like you shouldn't go off who you are too much if you want to be more let's just say you know they wouldn't let you be great when you went to college and you weren't the pretty girl and you want to be the pretty girl yeah. do your makeup do your hair yeah, be pretty. yeah. but don't pretend um to be i don't know what would Someone girls pretend are. to be just like they were always popping pop, don't talk to me like a rude girl yeah. maybe yeah, imitating yeah. Exactly. someone they yeah. saw because that's who they wanted to be yeah. so bad like yeah and then guys come on like don't at the end of the day the guy you're man. 19 yeah but Really and truly, how, how come an 18, 19 year old boy can afford Gucci, Balenciaga, mm. um, Prada, Louis? Like, it, it's let's be honest, it's unrealistic. Yeah, it's unrealistic. So, like, 
I just feel like for guys, just don't feel pressured to be someone you're not. Yeah. Um, if you really want to buy yourself a pair of Balenciagas for Christmas, yeah, go. You go work in Tesco's mm -hmm. and you buy, you buy it for yourself. But really, don't feel pressured to do that. Don't spend all your money on Balenciagas and start eating um, bread to cook for or you. gari. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's dumb. It's embarrassing as well. It is. Spend your money wisely because it's, it's oh, actually a good chance to save if you can. Yeah. No, it's okay. No, no, throw. Um, I know a group of boys, no shade to any of them. This is just a bad decision that they made. Um, I think in the house, two of them drove. Um, and I think three of them lived in the house and there was one laptop between them. And I just thought, mm, that's not a very wise decision. But they had cars though? Yeah, but they had cars. One laptop. For one laptop. So but you don't need a car at uni. Exactly, bad decision. <laughs> Terrible. One laptop when you're all writing it. dissertations. Yeah, to spell it. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, be be weary of those guys as well. Those are the ones that are more likely to come and eat at your house all the time. Yeah. And in my uni, actually, that's just I don't give me enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I could just say just say small, small. Um, in my uni, um, the boys who this is bad. I would get in trouble. Um, no, just do sides. Okay. You go around. Go yes. around the story. Um, Change the story a small, small bit. Uh, yeah, just the boys who are stunting <laughs> are, are not consistent in every part of their life. So when you <laughs> when you go visit them, you might see signs of poverty. <laughs> This is so weird. What, 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 like the mattress on the floor? <laughs> Poverty? No, I can relate. I can relate. Okay. Is that it? Wait, 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 wait. Our last note is don't get a criminal record and. Okay, yeah, cool. Don't get a criminal record. Because you, yeah. you get kicked out of uni. Just behave yourself. And the last one. Ah. This is important. Don't rape. <laughs> Obviously, this goes both ways, but probably speaking more to guys. <laughs> this is a serious topic. The thing is, it's, it's, it's a serious topic, and do you know what? A lot of um, people <laughs> around that age, like what, 18, yeah. 19, you, you fail to understand that like, the line. It's true. Just, it's a very fine line. I mean, a girl can maybe give you all the signs that you expect. For her to feel like, I mean, for you to feel like you, you are going to have sex, but a girl can kiss you, a girl can fondle your balls. It does not mean that she's going to have sex with you and you should not force her. And do you know what? Even if you're just about to insert that you put your condom on, always wear condoms, guys. You one. put your condom on. Yes! <laughs> wear condoms! Wear condoms. Do not let any guy deceive you. Oh, bareback is. No, 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 no. Don't. Mm. Um, so Meanwhile, it's these young things that are b just busy infecting the whole world. As in, don't don't catch an infection in, in uni, please. Um, but even even if you've got your condom on and the girl has her legs wide open and she says no, <laughs> take the condom off and throw it in the bin. It's, it's a no. True. Do not think she's playing hard to get. Don't feel like oh, but you know you're here. A lot of you haven't had um, a free yard before, so mm. you've got this room or this is flat. True alone no one's there there's no mom cooking stew downstairs that you have to sneak a girl past you can just walk her in don't get feel like you have to give a certain amount of numbers back to your boys or feel mm. pressured um it's not right it is rape there's there's no two ways about it if she says no if she's fighting you off no if she's pinching you she's scratching you it's a no do not pin a girl down and forcefully have sex with her and don't allow a guy to do that with you as well and um, don't feel pressured don't feel like because he's that guy and everyone wants to have sex with him that you have to because he's chosen you don't feel like it's anything special um he might not even recognize you when he walks past you the next day yeah so. i actually know people that actually like got arrested and went down for um those oh, right. of, for those type of crimes so um um just yeah honestly just no is no yeah and trust me like once you become somewhat successful and you you just like you look clean and you're you know what i mean like clean you look nice even if you're wearing yeah. zara and you just carry yourself yourself with certain confidence and swag listen the girls will flock in anyway that's it and the girls will be once you get your money up yeah once you definitely get your money up so that's what you need to work hard at uni once exactly. you get your money up you will be fighting off the girls it's... trust me so and you, the aunties yeah and the aunties you really don't need to um <laughs> be raping girls no. it is 
it is it's so wrong and it's a it's definitely a young mentality yeah yeah it's definitely a young mentality and uni will kick you out if any sort of criminal records you know and they find out you'll be kicked out and for rape you'll be on the sex offenders register that means you know you you wouldn't be allowed like near kids and like your your profession is now limited you can't get hired in financial services you're limiting yourself so much just because of some vagina like it's it's never that deep and also girls if you are raped report it yeah don't feel threatened don't feel scared don't feel like no one will believe you report it rape is rape okay and on that note um thanks for listening to our uni do's and don'ts um you know if you might one day we might come back as mature students to do our yes, masters. One I mean, day. we're only in our we're only in our mid twenties yes, after all. Um, <laughs> so why, 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 why do that? Why coughing when I said? It? Oh no. I'm... Okay. Yeah. I suppose you're shading us. Yes, yeah, so I Okay. I'm sick. I'm sick. That's a vagina. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. We're only in our mid-twenties after all. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like this video. Make thumbs sure you up. give it a big thumbs up. Hey, and make sure you follow all of us on social media yeah. because we lit. Bye.